Hi, this is Jeff with Gamer Faction. I am at the first annual Red Deer Expo. I'm here with Nicole Marie Jean. Um, so, how long have you been doing cosplay? For five years. So, I discovered it back in 2010, and then the next year I did my first cosplay in 2011, became addicted, and I've been doing it nonstop since then. Nice. What got you start? What got you started into it? Like, was there a certain character? Or I've always been an artist. That's first and foremost what I do. I'm an artist, and um, I fell in love with the idea of being able to create art and bring art and your favorite fandoms together to create cosplay. So I saw other people doing it, and I wanted to do it myself. It's definitely like exploded in the last couple of years. Like when I started doing conventions, you know, almost like a decade ago, it wasn't as apparent. I mean, you'd see people dressed up as like Darth Vader and like Star Wars, like those those characters became costumes yeah. instantly. But then you get people like Harley Quinn and uh, like Poison Ivy, and a lot of the comic characters are starting to get way more apparent. Movies help as well too. Oh, definitely. I think movies is what is making it cool. I think that's what's getting people into the comic books and you know discovering these characters. Before it was Star Wars and Star Trek conventions, and that's mostly what you saw for cosplay. Yeah. Now these movies are broadening people's you know, interest and everything like that. And they're giving a lot of different interpretations as well too, because you get like the the Harley that's in the traditional comics, and then now the movie ones, and yep. you're starting to see like you know 10 to 15 different versions of the same character giving lot more variety in that kind of stuff. Yeah, so it makes the character more appealing. Like, if somebody didn't like the original Jester suit that she was always seen in when she first uh, was released, you know, people are falling in love with the different, maybe the sexier version of her, and people are just, you know, falling in love with her and her different versions. What are some of your favorite characters that you've uh, cosplayed as? My favorite is Namor the Submariner, so Marvel's first mutant. He's definitely my favorite. He's a ladies' man, and I love his swagger, so I get away with, you know, being cool and, you know, getting all the, the ladies. Um, what I'm most well known for is Bane from Dark Knight Rises, so I was known for a while as, for a while as Lady Bane, because hmm. I created a female version, and that was probably one of my favorites. It, it'll always be one of my favorites, though I retired it years ago. Do you gravitate towards more DC than Marvel? Or? I'm more of a Marvel fan, yeah. but it seems like I tend to dress up more so in DC. I don't know if it's just like uh, costumes are more appealing to me. I really love Poison Ivy, and with her you can be really creative. As long as you keep it redhead with leaves, you can you know go about with your own creativity and design. Nice. What uh, is the average time you usually take on most costumes, like to, to make them? A hundred plus hours. Yeah. Yeah, but it could be in a short amount of time, so I could, might be able to fit that in in a week or a week and a half. So I don't sleep. <laughs> What's the costume that's taken the longest to actually produce? Probably comedian. So I did a female version of comedian from Watchmen. And I had to keep going back to that because I just could not figure out the design for the chess piece. It just wasn't working out. So I had to keep putting that aside and that took a couple of months. Um, what kind of materials are you usually working with for making the costumes? I am big into using thermoplastics. And Mostly Warbler, which yeah. is which is thermoplastic, and craft foam of all different sorts, like EVA foam, which is what yoga mats are made out of, and then fabric of all different kinds. Nice. A lot of spandex. What are some of the locations that you visited, uh, being part of the cosplay community? I've gone to Asia three times. So Indonesia, I've gone to Thailand, China. I'll be going to London, um, and India, uh, all over. United States, different parts of Canada and Mexico, Honduras. Nice. Um, we lost my train of thought there. <laughs> uh, what are some of the characters that you have kind of coming out soon, like to some of the costumes that you're working on now? There, I have a whole list of yeah. costumes I want to do, but it's usually whatever I wake up one morning and it just pops into my head. I'm like, I got to get that done. I, I have this idea. I need to finish it. Um, I don't know what my next project is going to be. Um, I do have an original character I'm working on. It's kind of based off of World of Warcraft, uh, the Night Elves and everything like that. But going over, 
going about it with my own creativity and you know imagination. Nice. What are some of the other uh, activities or interests you have outside of cosplay? This is like my life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um, art and cosplay is a full-time thing for me, but that makes me happy because that's my brain is most happy when I'm creative. Um, I do up to four conventions a month, so the cosplay and convention world does keep me busy. But when I do have free time, I like to spend it with um, my animals, my significant other, and art. So I'm usually covered in paint while that happens. <laughs> nice. Are there a lot of costumes that you've made that you've looked to maybe redo now that you've maybe perfected the craft of making them a little bit from better from when you first started? Oh, definitely. I, especially with the. Cable coming out in the new Deadpool movie, or you know, the rumor has it. I've done Cable before, and that was one of the first costumes I used thermoplastic with. And now having more knowledge um, with thermoplastics, I definitely want to upgrade that. Nice. What are some of the cosplayers that you find that you work with more frequently than others? Like, or are like either uh, dual shoots or touring more? Hey, we're all over the place. Like, I might do a show alone, and then the next one I might be with like Leanna Vamp or Ivy Doom Kitty. It really depends. I was just at a convention with Yaya Han, um, and Vampy bit me. So it really depends. You know, some of us might be on our own, but we don't use. We're all individuals. Um, I don't do photo shoots with anyone. I don't even photo do photo shoots alone because yeah. I'm kind of awkward in front of a camera. I'm kind of just the artist that hides in her basement. But um, we're all we're all a family. We all get along. So we've been doing this for. I mean, I've known them for five years now, and we see the same familiar faces. Nice. Um, so, what is your favorite version of Harley Quinn? Um, I do love the Suicide Squad version. Um, I also love Margot Robbie. So. Um, I'm not, I was never a fan of the jester suit. I do like the design of Harley Bull because it uh, it does have her covered up, so it's kind of um, still keeping the that one piece suit, but also giving her the flair with the guns and everything like that, making her a mercenary. Nice. Which of the costumes do you have that you find are the more popular ones that you've done, like based off like either people coming up and really liking it, or maybe like through social networking? Yeah. Um, there's all different ones. It really depends on, um, I guess, what I'm coming out with. Um, I would say Barf was a really big one when that came out. So Barf from Spaceballs. Um, I've done a hundred different costumes, so it's hard to remember all of them. But the ones where I'm gender bending, so I'm taking a male character, uh, redesigning to be a female character, those are always a hit. Yeah, it's, like Namor. Yeah, so people like to see stuff that no one else is doing or they haven't seen before. So that those usually get the bigger draw. Nice. Um, so with a lot of the characters that you've got here, you said you were working on like original characters. Mm -hmm. um, how many of those have you done so far, like for those original characters? Um, I've done an original design on a few characters. Um, I've done the Egyptian god Anubis, and I redesigned Anubis to be basically a female uh, human. So it's not necessarily an original character, but it's complete design that I did. Um, but this is probably going to be my first one, the Night Elf. Nice. Um, I think that's it. But uh, thank you very much for the interview.